of the show with a few demons joining us in the studio. Northwestern State senior pitcher Cal Carver along with the man behind the ESPN Plus broadcast. And honestly, he does a little bit of everything. Jason Pugh. So, y'all, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> All right, man, this season has been a whirlwind. I mean, it, you guys finished in the fifth in the conference before going out to the tournament. But you had some wins out here, like against Nickel State, who was the number one seed and actually won. What was this season like for you, Cal? Um, I thought it was a great season. You know, it, obviously it didn't end up the way that we wanted it to and, you know, hoisting the trophy. But I thought it was a, it was a really great season, a lot of success and um, a lot of fun on this team this year. So obviously it was like, uh, you know, you, you started against UIW, you know, your 45th start, right? And, you know, you uh, tied the, the school record. Just talk about the records that were being able to kind of be set and, and going above and beyond like that. I think it's just a testament to a lot of the hard work we all put in. You know, a lot of guys like Gabe got into some record books and Jeff, of course, with the home run record and pretty much every other statistical category out there. I think it just says a lot about, you know, all the hard work we put in the last four or five years with, with NSU. You know, speaking of records, man, I know you set one in high school, too, for the most wins, and then you come here, you set a few more. I mean, what is the motivation behind that with you, man? I'm just trying to make sure I can go out there and be as successful as I can every start, and, you know, I'm, I want to be the best, so uh, trying to get to those records is a testament to that. Jason, obviously you've been with this team for, obviously, a few years and everything, and Coach Barbie always talks about how, how important this team is to him how special they've been what about for you i know you've been with them you've you've been through the wins the losses uh the good times and the bad times yeah uh, just echo kind of what he said this team really was a lot of fun i mean cal's been here for four years you look at jeff elkins has been here for five gabe had been here for four dante's been here for four jake hayes is a junior college transfer has been here for three so i mean you get to know these guys and been very lucky to get to know their families you know the carvers the the mccarl which is the the Rowlettes on up on down the line that you get to know these guys as players and that's what we see a lot and that's what the public sees but it's equally and probably a lot more fun to get to know these guys off the field and to watch the camaraderie they had not just with each other but with the coaching staff with uh, with Brittany Goldberg our athletic trainer who does such a great job and the support staff that you know they take the time to, to interact with them and uh, appreciate them for what they do as well and that's that's a mark of a special team and so now after after the game um, on Friday and you got a little teary out and everything what was that kind of like was like oh this moment is like kind of ending type thing like it was just a special moment with you yeah and I, I think to kind of go back to what Bobby said uh, you know you spend so much time with these guys and four or five years you know I actually didn't get to say goodbye to Cal uh, just kind of running around but uh, again when you get to know these these guys and you do feel like you're a part of it not out there throwing. I've never had a hit. I've never thrown a pitch. I've never made a play defensively, uh, at least not in a long, long time. Uh, but, you know, th these guys, you get to know them again. You get to spend so much time with them, whether you're on a bus to Corpus or on a bus to San Antonio or wherever, good times, bad times. Uh, you watch them grow. You know, you, the coaches help mold them. And I think in some ways, uh, our staff, you know, whether it's putting them in front of a camera or putting a mic on them, and I know a lot of them, uh, the ones who aren't here, some of them really don't want to do it. <laughs> this guy hasn't been that guy. He's always happy to, front, happy to hop in front of a camera. But just to watch those guys grow, to get to know them and tell their stories is, is special and meaningful for us. Now, both of you guys have been part of the Southland Conference for some time now. I'll talk to the commissioner, Chris Grant. He said that baseball is the, the leadoff. Like, that's the, that's the all-around sport that he expects to be uh, competitive in. You can be biased if you want to, but do you agree with that statement? I, of course I do, but, um, you know, I think especially in the last few years, you know, Southland basketball has also been coming up a lot in UIW with their football team. But, um, yeah, baseball, I think, definitely leads it off for sure. Well, I think where we are in the footprint, you know, football is always going to be the, the big dog. But I think in the footprint we're in, Texas, Louisiana, especially on the Louisiana side, uh, in terms of a men's sport, baseball to me, you know, is number two. Uh, you look at it, you look at what Skip Bartman did with LSU, you look with him going on the road and what, has, it's kind of been the a rising tide lifts all boats. Uh, you look, you've got three programs along I-10, four programs counting UNO. Uh, it's been a while, but that have been to the College World Series. You can't say that about a Final Four. You can't say that about uh, a whole lot of football success aside from an LSU uh, and several FCS teams. But baseball, I think, is the one that in this state probably is the number two sport behind football. And I think when you have five teams like we have in Louisiana, they were the last four standing in the Southland Conference were Louisiana teams, it makes sense. So obviously the last time that y'all won the, the, the championship was in 2018, and like knowing what you were able to do and get that win against UIW, do you think you kind of found like a set of foundation like for the guys that are still there? 
Absolutely, yeah. You know, everyone's going to want to try to recreate that feeling of winning in the tournament and get deeper and further into the tournament and give ourselves a chance to uh, play for the title. But I think it um, says a lot about us, you know, finally getting there, getting a win under our belt and let some of that younger group core, younger core group of guys get that experience was, was pretty cool. And so I know, obviously, you just graduated. Obviously, the, the burning question, what is next for you? Um, obviously, I want to continue playing baseball and extend my playing career as long as I can. Um, but as of right now, that's kind of what I'm what I'm working towards in this moment. Okay. All right. And you know, earlier in the week, I did get hit by a baseball. I'm blaming you, Kyle, because you're the pitcher. I think it was you that hit me with. I was not the one that threw. I watched you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Best of luck to you in your Thank future you. career. We'll see you around, Pete. We know we will. Thank you for oh, having always. us. Coming Thank up you. on Sports Night. <laughs>